previous video I made a very nice wooden table lamp, at least I thought it was very nice and that's all that matters really. Uh, but hopefully a few customers will as well. And so the next thing I need is I need a shade for it. So what I've decided to do is to make a leather shade. Now over the years I've made all sorts of lampshades out of all sorts of materials. I made some leather ones, I made some wooden ones, I made some copper ones, I rather like those. But this time I'm going to make a nice leather one and I've got this beautiful piece of red leather. It's nice and thick, it's about three millimetres thick. This is going to make a glorious lampshade. It's a lovely colour. Several, several years ago I made myself this template which we're going to put on the back. And it's just a semicircle template with a semicircle cut out the middle and I'm just going to draw around it. And then having drawn around it, I'm going to cut it out. Because I'm trying to do a circle, I'm going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. And you go very, very slowly. And you do need to be reasonably accurate for this and you'll see why in a moment. So having done the outside circle, that's pretty good as a circle, though we can trim it in a moment. And now we're going to do the inside circle. There's our two circles cut out. And what happens is that's the shape we're going to end up with. So what I need to do now is just to trim this up a little bit, just so it's uh, a bit smoother. But if you go at it very gently with a piece of sandpaper, it's amazing what difference you can make. Now, when you've got that bit done, then you just need to put a little bit of this edge dye on the edge and just give it a little bit of a polish. You never quite get the right shade when you're doing fancy coloured leathers like red. Um, but whatever you do, once you've done this a few times, it's always going to look much nicer than the raw edge. But you can definitely see the difference between the bit that's been dyed and the bit that hasn't. So we'll just go all the way around there. So the last thing we need to do to finish off the edges is to use this tool, which is called a screw crease, as its name suggests. It makes a crease and it's got a screw that so changes the width of it. And you just... Ever so carefully, you make your way around the edge and it just puts a crease in the end. Slight bit of decoration, but also strengthens the corner. And it starts to look quite good, doesn't it? You can see where we're going with this now. So, with a pair of dividers, just run a little crease down there and that's going to be for our stitch marker. Now I'm going to make quite a feature of the stitching on here. So I'm using a very big stitch marker. So this is a number six. I'm just going to work my way along. Now if you'd like to find out some more about the projects that I do and not all of them make it in the video you're going to have a look at my blog the details of which are on the bottom of the screen if you're interested in buying any of my products exclusively through Fitzrobby so as you can see that's now nicely stitch marked and it's ready to go together like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crisscross. So it's a bit like threading a pair of shoes. The more I go down the seam, the better this will become. As you can see, I've crisscrossed the stitches all the way down. 
as my old woodwork teacher used to tell me, every time I made a mistake, if you can't hide it, make a feature of it. Obviously, we can't hide this stitching, so we'll make a feature of it. But that's a fairly nice lampshade. I rather like that. It's a lovely colour. At this point, we've just made a rather nice little cone, um, but we need to be able to attach it to our lamp. So you need one of these. You can buy these from sort of lamp making supply shops and that's going to fit on the inside of there. Inside there and I'm just going to put a little tiny couple of stitches there on each of the three arms just to hold it into place that's all it will need so there you go that's my new table light with my lovely red leather shade I think that's rather smart it's very sophisticated hopefully you enjoyed that video if you did, have a look at the other ones on my channel. You never know, you might enjoy those as well. And do look out for the blog. And that way you get to find out the other things that I'm up to. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.